everyone, this day means a lot to me. Why walking my dog, I met uh, my brother Joseph, who's riding back home. The whole world wants to know, what, how did all my ministry, how did this calling as a man of God started? It all started when I was locked up in jail. Joseph here was also locked up with me. Like we said, oh, none of us are perfect, but God loves us. And he spoke to my heart when I was locked up there, and I literally cried out on the floor. And there I, I was trying to rely on people, and he spoke to me and said, Son, you need to focus on God. No one cares for you, only God cares for you. And I cried, he prayed for me. And ever since, I've been putting my trust in God. Psalms 118, verse 24, but well, Psalms 118 verse 8, it says that it's better to trust in God than men. So in my life, I put my trust in God because God spoke through him. And that day, my life has been touched. He's more than a brother to me. He's like a father. And, and I want people to, to realize that this means a lot to me. And I want you to hear from his mouth what God told him and how. I want you to just hear from him. Joe, can you just tell the people what you spoke you to don't me move. and everything? I just try to lead him the right way, you don't know, not depending on man, because man will let you down every time, but God will never let you down. God will never leave you or forsake you. God will always be there with you if you take it back. You know, all my problems that I had, I take it to God. I was taking it to man, because I know God had the right answer. And I love this brother just like he's, he's part of me. And uh, I just try to encourage him at that time to focus on God. It says in the Bible, keep your mind on God and he will keep you in perfect peace. But if your mind is not on God, then your mind is not gonna be on perfect peace. So I try to know to focus on God and um, lead people the right way, you know, to focus on God and not focus on man because man really mean nothing to nobody, you know. So that I encourage him to focus on God and uh, keep praying and keep the faith and believe and trust in God that God to make a way for him each and every day and ask God for God and guide him through this day, every day that he's on his earth. Ain't can you, no God will. Can you, can you tell them when, it, when I walk into your cell, how broken I was, how I was down? Can you tell them how they, you know, so they can know how broken I was, how well, I was crying? He was kind of down so much that like he, like he didn't had no hope for nothing no more, that he really didn't have nobody to love him, you know? But I know when I talked to him that uh, he needed my help encourage encourage him and um to do the right thing that lean on God and not lean on man and um we talk you know we communicate and um we prayed we prayed and everything and um just you know get from God came down and touched him and um turned his whole life around just by me encouraging him you know and I, that's what I love doing encouraging people to do the right thing and focus on God so brothers and sisters around the world you're watching this video you know, in the Bible, there was Elijah and Elisha, and it was encouragement. This man encouraged me when I was locked up in jail. I want the whole world to see. This is the words of encouragement. You, now everyone sees me as a prophet, but they don't know it started in jail. When I was locked up, crying and crying, no hope, no family to help me, and he invited me in the cell. In his problem, he helped me in his problem. He was going through things, but he chose to help me as a young man of God. And today, I want to really, really turn around and say, God, God bless you so much, and I thank God, and I want to pray for you. Lord, I want to pray now. I want the whole world to see how I'm turning back the favor and blessing. My brother, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray that you turn his life around as you have done for me, Lord. And you provide for him everything, Lord. I cry out from the depths of my heart. I cry out from the depths of my heart that you touch his heart, that you touch his mind, that you touch his soul and family. Oh, God! Remember when I cried out, he encouraged me in jail. Oh God, I pray now that you break every chain. Have your mercy. Have your mercy. Have your mercy in his life. Have your mercy. Lord, give me mercy. Lord, help him. Help him, Lord. Help him. You know he's struggling also. Help him, Lord. Help him. Guide his heart. No sickness, no disease provide for him. He gave me words that touched my heart when there was nobody. <laughs> Help him, Lord. <laughs> Help him, Lord. In Jesus' name, your life will never be the same. Everything will be all right, brother. Everything will be all right. Keep your mind on God, Amen. man. Keep your mind on God.